There's no end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Creatures have already turned. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Like it's found me. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. The major! Me worried for we we'll have to get you out of here. I think it might be a little too late for that. Bearer or no, there's only so much ether a man can take, and that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, 
Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore! You have to believe me! The Akashic are coming! They don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't tire, and they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There won't be no parley, no mercy granted! We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please, Believe me, if you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Huh? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. It's you who should run! <laughs> Run, Bearer! Yeah, yeah. yeah run! run. Yeah. Far, far away! Run! Yeah. Yeah. Run, yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah. Just go on, Bearer! Yeah. 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 Go. 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 Yeah. go! Go on, then! Go on, go on! Go on. Just go! Yeah. Just go! Yeah. 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 Wait! Yeah. Someone's coming! Yeah. Yeah. No! Go on! Yeah. Stop! Leave. You're hurting go him! On, <laughs> what did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? And what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed that? Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day, every day, making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you, ever! 
But did Lubor ever complain? Well? Does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like it doesn't even exist! Lubor, we have heard enough. No! Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. So tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. <laughs> Fine. Gather round if you don't want to die. Do you not see, Father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. And now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as Great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, Father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people! Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore! You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. Corrupted? Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a branded. <laughs> Jealous, are you? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Clive! I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. God, oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. No. Work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. While this is but a heartfelt plea, let us make our stand here and protect our homes. Protect those that we love. Together, for Northreach! You heard the dame? What are we waiting for? 
Pikemen to the gates. Archers to the roofs. Quickly, come on! But she is that uh, common whore, yes. And we'd follow her to the gates of hell. a chance to find true salvation by devoting themselves to the service of their Lord, just as I did when the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in, a duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Ah, look, my lord. They are saved. Thank you, my lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. All be it by choice. All to serve Ultima. In his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Oh. He didn't consider it killing. Or a... Mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. <sighs> As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. That doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning Ifrit. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. 
We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Surprised to see us. How did you? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. And when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> it's been quite a day. <laughs> to what do we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. Guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything, Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? 
Now with your lord and ladyship, sir, uh, quite finished. <laughs> well said, Gaff. We have work to do. know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Hmm. Aye. Hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Come <laughs> on. 